You can't tell me this hasn't happened to you. You're driving home, you decide to pop on the radio, and your ears are immediately bombarded by the most overrated mainstream music in existence. You flip through all the available radio stations in your local area in an attempt to find decent music, but to no avail. Today's radio has been sodomized by mainstream music, and it's no wonder the smaller underdog artists receive no widespread recognition when all the local stations want to play predominant overrated manure. Why do the typical stations try so desperately to stick to the mold? Sure, there may be channels out there dedicated to the more underground music following. Unfortunately, there's absolutely nothing close to such a thing where I live. I love turning on the radio only to have my eardrums mercilessly raped by Rihanna's talentless voice or to have one of millions of stereotypical rock bands desecrate my automobile's audio system with their noise. It's obnoxious. You want to know the worst part about this new trend? Here in Lubbock, Texas, the radio stations give us the privilege of listening to the same song at the same point in time the next day. Are you kidding me? Does your music library consist of only 25 tracks? Surely there's got to be one out of millions of songs that you could play other than the one that you've been playing for the last three months at the same given time. Christ. Oh, dude, did you hear the new track from Slipknot? Yeah, dude, I hear it at 8.50 every morning thanks to the awesome radio stations with a diverse selection of music. Radical bruh. Well, it's no wonder MP3 players and iPods have become substantially more popular in recent years. Given the crap that we receive through the good old FM radio, I'd sooner listen to tracks and artists that I actually enjoy, while having a jackhammer slowly dig through my abdomen than to submit to this low criteria for music that radio stations have adopted. Alright, bring out the jackhammer.